So if everyone could please check your text messages. I'm going to read out the names. I'm of the them. Joker. <laughs> He's the I was. I'm the narrator. Uh, Jackson is King Miles. And raise your hand. When you Jackson your is King. Please raise your hand when I say your name. Jackson is King Miles and the Jester. Jake is William. Aiden is Reginald. Uh, Leonard is Gabby. Malcolm slash Young Malcolm, my dad. Um, and his dad. Friend number two is my mom and his mom. Villager number one is Gabby again. Villager number two is Aiden again. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> villager number three is Jake. Uh-huh. My mom is Lisa, Lisa and Mark. Lisa is villager number four. Um, and Lisa is the teacher. And Steve, I'll be Steve. Okay, so Mark is going to be the automated voice. The Kingdom Without Smiles, written by Jackson, Jake, and Cody. With, with help from... Okay. Page one. Exterior, courtyard, day. Extreme close-up of a smiling mouth. We rotate to reveal that the, the mouth is actually a dirty frown. We slowly pan out from the King Miles' mouth, showing a large crowd of medieval citizens lined up in the courtyard for the annual census. Reginald is walking down the rows of citizens, checking each person for the proper frown parameters by measuring the severity of the frown with his finger. <clears throat> Emma is shaman, and the jester follow behind him. The jester is taking Polaroid pictures of each citizen after Reginald approves of their frown. Reginald stops at Leonard and glares. Placing his finger upon Leonard's mouth, it is clear that it does not meet the proper parameters. That's not a frown. That's just your resting face. Reginald slaps Leonard across the face. <laughs> Leonard recovers and attempts to frown harder. Reginald's frown grows as he continues to glare. Sorry, sir. I was uh, looking at a rat. I thought it was cute, sir. I don't see it anymore. Reginald turns around and snaps his fingers. M. Night Shaman, uh, M. Night Shaman swiftly appro- <clears throat> approaches Leonard, twirls his fingers, and pulls the rat out from behind Leonard's ear. He twists and snaps the rat's neck. He drops the lifeless body at Leonard's feet. Leonard frowns. Atta boy, that's a good frown. Keep her down. <laughs> Joker. The jester snaps. The jester snaps a photo of Leonard. We begin zooming. We begin zooming out again as Reginald walks down the path, checking every person's frown. Eventually, a big Hollywood-style sign is revealed on the hill in the background: "The Kingdom Without Smiles." This is what the sign says. Interior: Castle. After the census, King Miles is sitting in his throne room, looking at a wall of pictures of the citizens' frowns. The gesture is taking down each picture from the previous census and replacing them with the newest picture of that citizen. The gesture comes across the picture of William. He goes through his newly snapped pictures, unable to find Williams. Just then, the doors to the castle open and Reginald walks in. Your Majesty, you're gonna want to see this. Why would I want to see it? Just tell me. Well, okay, uh, the data from the census just came back. Someone's missing. What? Ooh. <laughs> and this is also the gesture. Oh. <clears throat> According to my photographs, the man we're looking for is the one who laughs. <laughs> then King Miles. William? I thought we shut him down for good last time. Oh. Uh, do you want me to organize a search party? My sources say he hasn't left the city. And that shaman walks into the castle, and he approaches Reginald and whispers into his ear. My sources say that he's just left the city. What? He left the city? Where is he going? Well, sir, he appears to be headed to Camelot. What? Why is a citizen of my neighborhood slash kingdom (laughs) headed to a place of smiles and weakness? Cuts to exterior neighborhood outskirts day. William is walking through tall grass up a hill. His cat, Indy, (laughs) trots along next to him. Both have a resting face. Gee, Indy, <clears throat> we're in for a big adventure now. We gotta get to this new kingdom and figure if the rumors are true. If they really are happy, I need to know. Meow. <laughs> Plus, if I verify this, I can bring hope back to the kingdom without smiles. I can teach everyone how to be happy. Heck, maybe they can even smile for once. But first, we have a long journey ahead of us. Who knows how far we'll have to go to reach the faraway kingdom of Camelot. They reach the top of the hill. A sign just across the street reads Camelot. We zoom out to show that the Camelot is literally across the street from the Kingdom Without Smiles. Both have quaint neighborhood signs. Hey, Indy, we made it. Let's go, girl. William and Indy, William and Indy run down the hill. Zoom out. Interior of castle. King Miles... <coughs> King Miles, Reginald, and the Jester watch William 
Watch Rogue William through M. Night Shaman's magic orb. They see him run into the entrance of Camelot. Hope. He slams his fist on the armrest. What a meek and pathetic idea. I won't even give it the chance. Smiling in my kingdom? Smiling makes people weak and soft, and also, I never do it. He frowns. What do you want to do, King Miles? Do you, do you want me to kill him? I will. King Miles <laughs> stares into Shaman's orb, still viewing William. William, William, William. I take no pleasure in doing this. In fact, it makes me very unhappy. But I'm going to make you very unhappy. My best boy Reginald wants you dead. He wants to do it himself. Should I let him? No. A dead man is in a constant state of contentment. I need you to be distinctly upset. He turns to Reginald. Ready the wagon. You and I are doing this ourselves. This is a funny transition card. Woo. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do the sound effects here. <laughs> Exterior, outside the castle, later. Reginald and the king are in a horse-drawn carriage, ready to depart. A crowd of citizens watches from the courtyard. I'm putting the jester in charge while I'm gone. He's the only one who can take this job seriously. M. Night Shaman grunts in confusion and anger. The king turns to M. Night. You, M. Night Shaman, will be monitoring uh, William's every movement and reporting it back to me. M. Night Shaman nods and grunts in acceptance. Remember, my people, the kingdom without smiles without its king is still the dom without smiles. Oh. King Miles Favorite walks real. up the steps into the carriage. Before entering, he turns to the jester. Don't bring down a school while I'm gone. The king enters and Reginald follows behind him, and they ride away in their carriage. Exterior, neighborhood outskirts moments later. Wide shot, the horse pulls the wagon across the street as slow as, slow as horsely possible. Eventually, <laughs> instead of instead of humanly possible, oh. as slow as horsely possible. Eventually, it enters the Camelot gates. Exterior, Camelot streets. Moments later, again, the wagon comes to a stop. King Miles and Reginald step out. King Miles takes a deep breath in through his nose. Wow, smells just like I remember. Rancid, detestable. Shaman, where art William? Hmm. A quest marker arrow glows up in front of Miles. It points further down the street. As they walk closer, the arrow fades away and a new one pops up further down the street. As they walk, happy things happen. Children run around screaming, couples walking their dogs, etc. Reginald frowns even more. They follow the arrows until King Miles comes to a stop. He turns and looks at the building next to him. His gaze shifts left to the building behind a chain link fence connecting to the, connected to the building. And it's a flashback. Exterior school playground, morning. A young, handsome and happy Miles, seven, runs across the sponge top. Oh, he meets up with a group of buddies. He smacks an ice cream cone out of a young Malcolm's hand. Malcolm laughs. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Miles, you have the craziest sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, you're good friends with Malcolm and I, but I don't remember my name. We like you a lot. Ha! <laughs> it's just who I am, I guess. <laughs> I'm great with people. I have so much fun. Young Miles <laughs> stops speaking. His eyes flash onto a kid at a table nearby. The kid gets up and walks toward the group of friends. It is young Reginald. He has a frown on his face. Uh, R Reginald? You're, you're not my friend. You don't live here. <laughs> I'm leaving. Young Miles turns and begins walking away. You're doing it wrong. M uh, Miles stops and turns back to face Reginald. Doing what wrong? Smiling. Snap back to reality. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> King Miles appears shook. He blinks his eyes twice. What? Doing what wrong? You're supposed to follow the arrows this way. He points forwards. Oh, right. Sorry. Got distracted. They move along. Cut to the, the dawn without my house. <laughs> Exterior, Kingdom House's day. The Jester and M. Night Shaman are walking, across, walking around houses, looking at people. M. Night Shaman is carrying his orb. Who's, which is watching William. The houses are run down, paint peeling, walls falling apart, etc. Everyone is murmuring to each other. Do you really think he'll bring back hope? <laughs> is William strong enough? Are we going to be happy soon? 
The jester's face gets more and more frustrated as he walks through the murmuring villagers. I do not like this one bit. Nay, everyone is spreading hearsay. I need them to feel dejected, not hopeful in the wreck. <laughs> they walk in silence as the jester ponders. Man, I'm starving. This sucks. The jester's eyes light up. Salted earth and certain sadness. Once the king returns, he'll love our madness. Cut to farmland. Have you always run? Exter- <laughs> yeah, you always run. Exterior, farm field, stay. Citizens are on their knees, pulling crops out of the ground and tearing them up. The jester watches over them. Blue heart, green thumb, pain and hunger is sure to come. The citizens all look dejected as they destroy, as they destroy the crops. Cut back to exterior Camelot streets. King Miles and Reginald continue following the arrow to find William. They come, in, they come to a large gathering of people. A voice behind Miles startles him. Miles, old chap, is that you? Yeah? <laughs> Who? Old chap? Me? It's never. Oh, it's been forever, Miles. Malcolm, remember me from grade school? That's King Miles to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, King Miles. You run that community across the street now, yeah? King Miles will not respond. Malcolm notices this and changes his tone. Hey, uh, sorry about my energy, yeah? It's probably been a rough day for you today. King Miles exudes perplexion. Just, just know, despite how you were in the past, we're all here for you today, man. King Miles is taken aback. The past? I thought we were friends. Friends? Man, if that's how you treat your friends, you must run a crazy kingdom. King Miles tilts his head in confusion. The, ca- the camera zooms intensely into his face and transitions into a, flash- into a flashback. Exterior, school, playground, morning. A near repeat of the first flashback plays. A young, handsome, and happy Miles, seven, runs across the sponge top. He meets up with a group of buddies. He smacks an ice cream cone out of young Malcolm's mm-hmm. hand. The flashback shifts. Malcolm scowls. Hey, that was my ice cream cone. Why do you always mess with me? Yeah, Malcolm and I don't like it. A real friend wouldn't do something like that. (laughs) That's just who I am, I guess. I'm great with people. I have so much fun. Young Miles stops speaking. His eyes latch onto an adult walking towards him. It is a teacher. She has a frown on on her face. Hey, hey, teach. What's up? The teacher gets down to young Miles' height. She places a hand on his shoulder. I'm sorry, Miles. There was a food accident. Your parents... They ran out of it. They're dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. Miles My- <laughs> stares at the teacher. He then looks around at the students playing around him. They're all smiling, unaware of the tragic news. What? N- no! You're wrong! Why is everyone still smiling? Stop it! Stop it! Stop smiling! Camera pans into young Miles' face. Uh, cut back to reality. Exterior of Camelot Street. Camera zooms away from Miles' face. Oh. What's the matter, Miles? You just remember something? <laughs> you, uh, you're you all still smiling. You're all still the same. Wait, Why? Wait, you don't know what today is? You, wait, you don't know what today is, do you? Exterior, farm fields, day. The jester and M. Night Shaman stand as they watch their citizens dejected, destroying crops. M. Night Shaman is, no- is nodding appropriately. Villager number four walks up to them. Well, at least I can still go home and sleep with a roof over my head. The jester raises his brows. Exterior outside villager number four's house, continuous. The jester, M. Night Shaman, and villager number four stand outside his house. It is on fire and burning to the ground. Villager number four is frowning so big. (laughs) Other villagers stand around watching in horror. But hey, Steve still has a roof above his head. What? So do you, Leonard. Not if I burn it down. Our heart's least desire would be most unhappy were this town on fire. (laughs) Exterior neighborhood street, a moment later. Nearly every house in the neighborhood is on fire. Some people are crying, others are throwing Molotov cocktails. (laughs) Villager number two is watching intensely, body shaking and lip quivering, and holding the Molotov cocktail. His lip finally breaks and he cracks a crazy smile. Yeah! He tosses a cocktail into a house in front of him, setting it ablaze. The jester notices this outburst and nudges M. Night Shaman. M. Night Shaman promptly bolts over to him and snaps. Villager number two dies in an, an extremely gruesome and over-the-top death. Something involving plants. We, haven't, we didn't plan that far out exactly. 
Yeah, but... <laughs> Villager number four sees this and his frown grows even bigger. Well, even though his children no longer have a father, <clears throat> at least they have an education. The jester hears this and his eyes light up yet again. Exterior, Camelot Streets. A crowd of people, including King Miles, including King Miles, Reginald, and Malcolm, gather around a large stone statue of two people, Mr. and Mrs. Miles. <laughs> King Miles falls to his knees, devastated. Zoom out slightly to reveal William and Indy Cat standing right next to King Miles. <laughs> William is reading the plaque on the statue. King Miles, these are your parents, aren't they? King Miles is caught off guard and looks over at William. After realizing William is there, he closes his eyes and drops his head in sorrow. Sir, so solemnly nodding. Sir, your parents' death was a horrible incident that forced you to oppress a small group of poor and hungry people and make them conform to your broken ideology, where smiling is considered unproductive and criminal? You, you built a statue for them? Me? No. I'm not a statue builder. I am a carpenter. I do carpets. <laughs> John over there is a statue builder. He does statues. He built this one. See his signature? Malcolm nodded to the signature. But you guys were all smiling the day they died. I thought you didn't care. I thought no one did. What? Are you out of your goddamn gourd? We didn't know. And you ran off before we found out. Your parents were super important to all of us. We celebrate them every year on this day. We celebrate all life that's lost <clears throat> in one way or another. Oh, man. <laughs> what kind of king am I? I should be the jester instead for all my foolishness. But I can't rhyme so well, so maybe it's for the best. <laughs> Miles smiles. A tear falls down his cheek. Reginald, I think I have been ruling our kingdom wrong this entire time. State enforced sadness is no way to live. Well, whatever you'd like to change, my king. I don't need to believe in the kingdom. I've always believed in you. Reginald helps King Miles up, and they look into each other's eyes. They share, <laughs> they share a kiss. Okay. You guys gonna do it? <laughs> yeah. A magic sphere glows up next to them. <laughs> a check mark appears on it, and an automated voice speaks. You have arrived. Oh, you have arrived at William. Auto map will now turn off. Goodbye. <laughs> the sphere disappears. King Miles wipes away a tear. He turns to William. William, <clears throat> I'm so sorry that we initially came here to waterboard you. <laughs> but now we want to join you on your, your quest to bring back hope. You have a great smile. I need your help. He pulls Reginald closer to him. We need your help. <laughs> William smiles and nods his head in agreement. Indy meows in excitement. Exterior, um... Uh... Oh, exterior, school without smiles. Sunset. The frowning villagers set the school ablaze. The children are outside crying. Majority rules. Nothing shall be left. Not even the schools. The school is burned for a few moments while everyone stares in silence. Some people are crying. Some are staring in fright. Villager number four turns to villager number five, standing next to her. Oh, well, children don't enjoy going to school anyways. If anything, this will make our children happier. Then let's send them to school one last time. It's the perfect rhyme. Mm -hmm. M. Night Shaman snaps and all the kids line up. The kids begin rhythmically marching towards the burning building. The villagers watch in distress as the children march. The child in the front takes, his, takes the first step into the burning building, and the shoe catches on fire immediately. STOP! The kid freezes and then pulls his foot back. The fire goes out instantly. The camera whips to reveal King Miles on top of a nearby hill, overlooking the school. He is holding hands with Reginald, and William is standing off to the side, holding Indy. Birds fly above them dramatically. King Miles gets... <laughs> <laughs> dramatically. King Miles gets on all fours and crawls... <laughs> What? <laughs> what a word Did you write this? <laughs> it is. And crawl. <laughs> King Miles crawls down the hill. <laughs> he crawls down the hill really fast. He jumps in front of the crowd. Reginald, William, and Indy join by his side. Uh, King Miles? King Miles steps up on a table and overlooks the citizens. I do whatever makes me happy now. That means crawling <laughs> whenever I want to. Audible gasp from the crowd. <gasps> That's right, my people. What? <laughs> Happy. I led with an iron fist 
and a soggy frown for too long now. The world isn't that messed up, ruined place that I thought it was. My parents did die in a food accident where they starved, though. <laughs> so that's still pretty fucked. But it would be even more fucked up to make you frown about it for the rest of your lives. But I digress. Things are going to change around here, guys. I no longer wish to torture you or to make you frowny, frowny sad time on Saturdays like we used to. I want to be a good leader, but I can't do it by myself. You are my people, but we are all one people. Also, Reginald and I are now in an exclusive couple. I will no longer be looking for a casual relationship. Jester, please terminate my one-night stand account. I cannot wait for our new journey to begin. Perhaps it is good that you burned down everything. It gives us a chance for a fresh to start fresh, to be reborn from the ashes of our former sadness. But before we continue, I must know if anyone has a problem with this because we can talk about it in a safe space. I'm here for you guys. Speak up now or forever hold your peace. A growl is heard. Everyone looks around and their eyes land on M. Night Shaman, whose body is shaking. He growls again. He takes off his night helmet, revealing a grass slash vine head. He is frowning. The rest of his clothes shut off as if it were a layer of skin, revealing a creepy grass vine body. The crowd gasps. M. Night Shaman snarls. He opens his hands, and retractable vine-like claws extend out of his fingertips. He viciously leaps towards King Miles. William steps in front of the king and s swiftly draws his sword, cutting M. Night Shaman in half. His two halves puff into grass blades and scatter onto the floor. Everyone is silent and in shock for a moment. Well, that was a twist. I did not see that coming. <laughs> and that's M. Night Shaman for you. The crowd cheers in excitement. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time, everyone is smiling. Everyone cheers, Miles. Miles, 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 Miles. Extreme long shot of the kingdom without smiles, with the Hollywood-like letters clearly visible. The chanting is heard faintly in the distance. Miles, 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 Miles. Smiles. Smiles. <laughs> the fire from the school spreads and catches certain letters of the sign on fire, so that the sign now reads, The Kingdom with Smiles. A moment later, more fire creeps along the hill and burns one more letter down. The sign now reads, The Kingdom with Miles. <laughs> Fade to black. Roll credits. Then there's an after credit scene. So credits. Fade in. Exterior outside the castle. Day. William is kneeled down in front of King Miles and Reginald on the castle porch. A huge crowd watches in excitement. Miles takes a sword and lightly taps <clears throat> it on William's right shoulder, while Reginald uses his own sword and taps it on William's left shoulder as if beginning the knighting process. They then both meet up in the middle and tap him on the head, then cross swords and tap on the opposite shoulder. <laughs> we appoint you, William, as our new knight. We have no need for shamans anymore in this neighborhood, only knights. We will call you the good knight. <laughs> the crowd cheers as William stands up and turns around to face the crowd, his hands pump in the air. After a few moments, his head turns and looks directly into the camera. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. That's good not, night. Not, not, yeah. Damn it. Damn it all. Good night. Good night. Cut to black. <laughs>